Hey, what's up everyone? Today's review is going to be over this company again. I'm not going to try and pronounce it this time, but uh, I've done a video on, on one of their other products instead of the chicken dumplings. It was uh, shrimp wontons, right? So the difference here is instead of shrimp, it's chicken dumplings, right? Instead of wontons, dumplings, same stuff with noodles. And instead of yu choy, they used bok choy. All right. Uh, so cooking instructions. Ooh, you actually microwave this one for longer, six to six and a half minutes, while the other one was like three minutes. Um, so let's take a look at the nutritional information, which is here. So 230 calories per serving, and each bowl is actually ha uh, contains um, two servings, right? So whenever I eat a bowl, I'm actually eating two servings. See, I, I may have miscalculated on the on the shrimp product because uh, I thought one bowl was one serving so uh, you know oh where did this come from why why shrimp dumplings why but now that I know I can fix my issue and uh, go back to my lean sexy self um, right actually let me bring up the old box here so I kept my containers uh, I use this as trash, uh, as a trash bin, rather than using disposable plastic bags. You know, I, I want to save the environment and whatnot, and it saves me a couple of cents every now and then. So instead of putting trash in a trash bag, I just keep empty boxes and then I fill it up with trash. Right? Oh, obviously not with uh, liquid trash because there's a little leak here, a little hole here for for liquid and fluids to leak out. So. Uh, this product has more calories and uh, more vitamins, a little bit more protein, more carbohydrates. So, oh, significantly more sodium, right? So I ate like four of these, four bowls, so eight servings in a, in a sitting. And boy, was I thirsty. So I'm going to avoid that with this. But yeah, overall, each box contains maybe 2,500 calories. Uh, for the same price as the other products, um, I think it was 14 bucks uh, on sale and normally around $17. Uh, pretty good. So a little bit over a dollar per container, or per serving, I mean. Um, so maybe $2.50 per bowl. Uh, but yeah, let's open this up. Oh, actually, let's, let's take a look at the back here. Cooking instructions. Add water, cover lid loosely, let it steam. Microwave on high for 40 minutes. Recover and the microwave for an additional two to two and a half minutes. Um, so this I found out is actually very important. If you over microwave, um, at least for the for the shrimp wonton product, the vegetables get really really mushy and uh, it, it's not it's not pleasant. Um, but yeah, enough chatting. Let's start opening up this box. Sorry for the shakiness. I don't have very steady hands, as you can tell. Um, some people are ambidextrous, right? They can use both hands uh, equally well. I happen to be, uh, I happen to use both hands, but equally poorly. Right? Some of my videos, you can see me eating, using either my left or my right hand and whatnot, and it varies uh, just randomly. I don't really think about it, but yeah. Oops, I opened this. Oh, no, no, it's right side up. Oh, it comes with a little plastic film, which I actually really dislike because of the, because I'm a hippie. Um, but that's all right. So let's open this up. I wonder why this one came with a plastic film, but the other one did not. Hmm. All right, I'm going to have to pause the video so I can remove the lid. Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to try and do this with one hand. Perfect. Here it is. You see the dumplings, the vegetables. Oh, are these? I think these are chives or something, or green onion. So it looks a little bit more, uh, more elaborate, elaborate, uh, more ingredients than the other products. Uh, that, you know, it's not necessarily better, right? But who knows? Let's see. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my water. Can you guys see the line? Yeah, there's a line there. 
gonna add my water to the line. Microwave on high for four minutes. I hope that's the right line. That is a lot of water. But then again, that is also a lot of salt, sodium, right? So what is this? 70% uh, percent of my daily recommended uh, intake of sodium. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and loosely cover it. Actually, I'm going to put this in the microwave before loosely covering it because uh, I don't want to spill on accident. So there it is. Here's my lid. Loosely covered. There we go. Four minutes on high. All right, see you guys soon. All right, uh, the four minutes just finished. So I'm gonna go ahead, slightly, ever so gently remove the lid. Give it a little stirry poo. Oh, it's still frozen solid, so I can't really stir that. All right, I don't know why that's part of the instructions. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add an additional two and a half minutes. And uh, we'll do the taste test. All right, so it's finished microwaving, and um, I've actually let it cool for a minute or two. I was busy doing the dishes, um, but yeah, let's let's do the taste test now. Hmm. All right. So here are the noodles. Oh, the, these noodles are softer than than the other ones. The other ones were al dente. These are. Typical, I guess, Asian noodles. But yeah, uh, I don't see any big bok choy chunks though. I'm trying to find it in here, but I, I just don't really see it. I think these are onions or something. Or maybe they dice the bok choy to very small pieces. Um, but yeah, let's take a bite here. Here's the chicken dumpling. Mm, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, nothing, you know, nothing to that stands out too much, but it, it is good. The noodles are a little bit mushy, uh, so I think I'm actually gonna put in less water and microwave it for maybe five minutes total, uh, and I'll probably use room temperature to water. That way the noodles don't get microwave for too long because they, they are a little bit mushy. So I only bought one box of this, so I didn't have a chance to uh, to try out several cooking methods um, or reheating methods rather. Um, and, and that's okay. This isn't bad to be honest. Uh, most important thing about noodles is the the broth, right? So let's test. Let's taste that. So even though it says that there's a lot of salt, uh, a lot of sodium. The broth is a little bit bland. And I think the line they put in here is too much water. I should have put, all right, definitely put less water. Um, but yeah, that's my re review on this product. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, until next time, have a good one. Just uh, repeated the thing uh, using less water, as you can see. And there's the first bowl that I just finished. I'm going to try and reuse these because I only own one bowl. Um, but yeah, so let's, let's do the taste test again. The broth is still a little bit um, a little bit bland, to be honest. I think if you were to add some sesame seed oil or hoisin sauce, it would be much better. And this dish actually comes with one, two, three, four... And then five. I guess five dumplings. No, I'm pretty sure it was six. I thought I counted six earlier. Uh, because two of them were stuck together. Is this it? But I guess, yeah, it comes with five dumplings in case anyone was interested. But, uh, yeah, this is the real end of the video. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, have a good one.